Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I get to finally jump back in and play some more regalia of men and monarchs and mice and cows. And no, just of men and monarchs. And it could also be regalia or regalia or if you really just want to like slur it all together. Totally works. It's fine. Awesome game. Looking forward to it coming out fully, but I get to enjoy it and you guys get to enjoy it right alongside me until it comes out. And then we won't like it anymore. Then we'll be like, oh, well, it's old hat. We don't care anymore. It's gone. Be gone with it. Be away. No. All right. So we have things to do. It looks like returning to Castle Lauren is one of those things. So let's do it, shall we? Your traveling party will not always approve of your decisions during text adventures. Remember something because it switched. All right. Ooh, we are scrolled off the map. Hey, venture forth. We can do that now. Cool. All right, so we are there. I still really, 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 two things. Really want my uh, mouse to be locked to the screen. And I really, really, really want to move the camera and stuff around with W, A, S, and D. But I cannot do that. It's okay. The middle mouse button works. It's fine. All right, to the armory, to the townery, to Griffith, to our gal, a Gwendolyn, good old sis over there. Anything else that we can do? No, not really. Let's talk to Griff. Let's see what he's got to say. On my honor. If that beast truly exists, I say we find it out before it deals any more damage. Besides, nothing lifts men's spirit as flawlessly as the sight of an evil beast slain. Assuming it exists. Alright. Let's go talk to Gwen's. Oh. Great. Hmm. I, I your confidence in me instills my confidence in myself. Thank you. Thank you for. Um, so now we have some vaguely threatening beast to worry about. Yep. Holy cow! These people are so gullible. Yeah. Let's go to the armory. Oh, well, that was the town. No, I don't want to go to the town. I want to go to the armory. I clicked on the wrong thing. I'm a fool. We're gonna go back here. Hopefully I'm not wasting time doing these things. If we are, we're all doomed. We have just thrown everything out the window. Eh. No, move. Sorry. Sorry. All right, to the armory. Do you know that some abilities cannot miss ever? All right, looks like there is nothing for us to do. Is there anything that we, oh, I hit tab. Your character sheet displays detailed information about the chosen character. While certain attribute values may increase with experience levels, it is up to you to fill the gaps with proper customization. Press the left mouse button on the weapon and trinket slot. Pressing it uh, allows you to swap a character's equipment, although weapon types are strictly assigned to specific characters. Trinkets are universal and can be equipped by anyone. Each character can be fully modified by perks. They are, or these are shared between all your characters and can be unlocked through various in-game activities like personal bonds, diplomacy, and more. Pressing a left mouse button on an empty perk slot will open up the perk selection menu. Each perk has a fixed equipment cost, representing the amount of perk slots it will take. More perk slots are gained with experience levels. A level up increases the amount of available slots by one or uno got it i can change my perks here thank you i can change my weapons and trinkets here sweet this is your party level instead of individual level ups your party gains experience as a whole that's pretty cool that is a really cool feature i like that a lot it means that you can try out new characters and you didn't invest and spend all this time with your one particular character that's super strong and then you swap them out for somebody who looks like they're going to be cooler or fit better but you've already spent so much time with this character that it doesn't really, you know, like, oh, this guy's a level 2, this guy's level 13 because you used him, you know, so so long and throughout the entire thing. It's much better this way. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so no weapons available to equip. Uh, Griff, can we switch characters from here? No. No. Trinkets, we have none to equip. And perks, we have one slot free, but we have nothing to... Oh, there we go. A short sword and a pistol, a trinket, nothing, and... No. 
All right, well, that's still cool. I like it. Let's get out of this, and let's get to where we need to be heading. It looks like we must set out on our adventure. We must venture forth. We're going to take Kay and Griffith on our adventure. We have all these other characters that we'll eventually be able to bring, it looks like, which is cool. Press and hold this to scroll the screen. Cool. I already knew that, though. It's fine. Press the number keys from F1 to F4 to adjust overall combat speed. All right, the world map tutorial, traveling around a rash till expanse. This is the general overview of the expanse from here. You can journey between dungeons, event spots, and various other relevant points of interest. Traveling between two neighboring locations always consumes one in-game day. Entering dungeons with or will, res, will reserve a fixed amount of days depending on the dungeon size. Should that number be lower than the number of days until a plot important deadline, you will be unable to enter the dungeon. Don't wander around aimlessly, though. Time is probably the most precious resource in all of Regalia, or Regalia. We're gonna go with Regalia, I like it. Even though they specifically say- it's fine. This is your in-game calendar. Every year consists of nine months, because, you know, of course it does. Each composed of four weeks, each in turn composed of 28 days. Cool. A little bit nicer. All right, I, I see there's a lot of stuff here. I'm not sure what I should be doing. All right, so I guess this is our kingdom. This is where we're at right now. This is Ascalia, the once proud home of House Lauren and the actual capital of the Rashtil Expanse. And then we can go over here to this place, the Unassuming Glade. Nothing exciting ever happens here, really. So we have to click on the boot. That's fine. Two, it's the second. It's Trolls Day right now. Two of New Bloom, 1093 CC, and what do we do here? We actually enter from this spot, I assume? The Hotlands, Unassuming Glade. Three days for this. Cool. Dungeons, tutorial, dungeoneering basics. Every dungeon contains three kinds of nodes. Combat nodes, these involve battling with the region's unfriendly denizens. Any party members that are defeated during battle will be rendered unavailable until you visit a camp node or leave the dungeon. Adventure nodes. These will engage your party in short choose-your-own-adventure text quests. Cool. Some of them granting rewards and branching out into follow-up quests. And finally, camp nodes. These are small free roaming zones where you can gain bonus personal bond points with your party members, revive KO'd combatants, and save your game mid-dungeon. Got it. Keep in mind that locked nodes cannot be accessed until you have cleared the neighboring nodes. Cool. Well, guess we're entering the node. Clearly nothing can go wrong. Your firewalls don't have to be boring. Press tab while targeting and you can burn the world. Set it ablaze. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. Yeah, we are. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace to the land. And to look impressive. And what are our chances of the supposed beast appearing? Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative probability, I would say... Boom. It happens now! Yes, it of course it does! Master. Love it. What the... Hell? Hello. That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. Whoa! You were saying? On second thought. We must defeat her in order to get her to join us, I think. It's alright. She looks like she'd be one that would join us. Just saying, could be totally wrong here. Alright, enough of my bad accent. Let's get back to gaming. Another ambush, this time by someone. Defeat the beast. Let's do it, eh? All right, we have the Finnish deployment because we're from Finland. No, we're not from Finland. It's fine. All right, let's click on you and put you on over one of these here square things, and it'll be okay. I think we're gonna put you over here, maybe, and then we're gonna put you on over here, maybe. And then I change my mind. No, 
No! I've changed my mind, yes. You. There, you. Here. Victory! Finish the deployment. Do it! Through the destruction of our enemies do we earn our salvation. Also, grrrr! She seems angry and empowered and stuff. Back to battle. Activation order. Have you noticed that this weird looking lady activated before you? How about we use this opportunity to explain some advanced combat mechanics, hmm? Activations take place in a strict order defined by the combatant's initiative value. While initiative remains a fixed value, there are number, numerous ways, or number of ways, to influence that order. A new turn begins when... A new turn! Look! A new turn begins when all combatants finish their activations. I know, they like to... It's, it's fine. You can check your current turn's activation order here. Alright, so, that being said, what are we doing right now? We have our boy, followed by the dude. The dude, the man, the guy, the, the thing, it's, it's fine. Alright, spawns a banner, two turns, blah 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 blah. What are we doing here? Maximum shields. Um, bang. Rend. Let's command you with more shields. Get in there. Make her cry and possibly wet herself. Not necessarily in that order. All right, we'll end our turn. Strike. And we shall do this because of reasons. Ah, we missed. That's not good. Hmm. Skillful. That was skillful. Also sad. A man who's truly skilled can look quite good in twill. Twile. I got, oh, that looked painful and unsatisfying. Here we go. Can we do it again? Hey, authority points. Authority points are shared resource pool, which can be spent to use blitz or execute ultimate skills. The party generates one authority point at the start of every turn. A maximum of five AP can be stored at any given time. A combatant can use blitz after performing their action, enabling them to act again and uses one AP. Alternatively, AP can be spent to unleash a combatant's ultimate skill. However, these game-changing abilities are as powerful as they are expensive. Each use of an ultimate costs 2 AP. Yeah, I know. Blitz here and ultimate here. Grant 60% maximum shield to a target ally and lowers all their cooldowns by 1. Do that, or we could do this. I think we should move just a tad closer. We will command you to suffer. Alright, we're good. And then you, sir, you get to do things that are impressive. Let us sunder her. We shall sunder her cabal. It's fine. Alright, so that's that's all good. I think we're gonna probably end up using one more right now, and then we will uh yeah, we'll finish her in the next turn. Assuming she doesn't murder both of us, I doubt she's got that skill, but maybe she does seem pretty angry. And the whirlwind, while impressive, didn't work, so, you know, there's that. Alright, gonna move behind her. And I am going to use Rend, because why not? Alright, and going to stop, and we're going to use our finishing touch. We don't need to, but eh, let's do it anyway. Boom! May your gods take you. That's right, shower me with your honest praise. I am victorious. Now see, when you defeat something, epic music like this should play. Giant things should appear on your screen like you are victorious, the big flag, and all that. This is how you do something when you win a fight, not... Oh, you won the fight, and then it's just kind of like real casual and just meh. This is how you do it. You need that that pomp, that feeling of accomplishment. You need that. This game has it, and I love it. I love everything about this game. It's great. All right, battle completed, 25 experience. Quick draws. Well, it's high noon somewhere in the world. We got plus three dodge, plus two ice resistance, and plus five damage. No idea what that means, but it's a treasure that we found, and I'm pretty happy about that. 
Beware the line of sight. You cannot kill what you cannot see. The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. You mean you hit her and then she got hurt? She doesn't look like a bandit. Or a beast, for that matter. Why would she be terrorizing the locals? I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from her, sire. I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. Ooh. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall be so, by your choosing. Huh. What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. We share a sky, but the boundary is not mine. The mark is not mine. The territory is not mine. I understood nothing. Yeah. Neither did I. Hacks, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelra way, our way, my way. To overcome enemies, we become beasts in spirit. Cool. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We take only what is given, and never force our way. I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> Whoa. The beast chooses the man, and the man accepts the beast. But it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive for. For many days and many nights, many moons that come and go. But the exact count is meaningless. One cannot return without finding the right beast. Fair enough. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here, you're saying you're searching for your beast. Yes. Huh. And this search brought you here. Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these Kelra. The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. But though the turtle wonders yeah. about the clouds, he will never take flight. Yes. A bird could pick uh -huh. him up. Yeah, it is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is unknown to mine. Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts, of these lands, and I could really use some popular support. You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the huh. victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. That sounds bad. Uh, figuratively speaking? No. Oh. Young master? I know what not you're about great. to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now. We all follow our oaths. And hers seems to be of great import. To her, at the very least. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own good above ours. No. I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would always be. Which is... Uh. The better man. Uh. Uh. Sire, <laughs> damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. He wants you to be his partner. Your lion speaks, yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Come uh. with us. <laughs> we'll give you shelter <laughs> and resources, and hopefully it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small eccentricities. Yeah. Emphasis on small. No one. doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild the city. I am sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable warrior as yourself. True. I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. Sweet. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so uh. that together we may fulfill our oaths. He's a duckling. Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling while you get to be a lion? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this will take a long, long while to explain to Gwen. Yeah, probably a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a long, long, long while. All right, so we're going to go ahead and recap here real quick. 
In a surprising turn of events, the Beast of Rashtil turns out to be a ferocious young woman named Signy. After a confusing attempt to communicate, Signy agrees to aid Kay in exchange for help with her trials, or rather, her search for a totemic animal. With the matter of the beast resolved, it's time to report back to the Grandfather. Well, we could do that, or we could move on a little bit further and do the node. Alright, let's go on and enter the node, a cloistered copse that could probably serve as a decent camping site. I like it. Enter the node. Alright. Press the right mouse button to cancel and exit and undo stuff, all stuff, anywhere. And welcome, welcome to the node. And apparently a saved game spot. So we're going to go ahead and talk to these two. And yeah, probably going to do um, the end of the episode. We'll save and we'll continue from the spot. So let's go and talk to Griff and Sigs. Let's see what they got to say. You are aware of your fearsome reputation in these parts, I assume. My pilgrimage brought no harm upon your kin. A Kelra pursues revelation, not slaughter. Perhaps I do not intend to question that. The fact remains, however, that some have already denounced you as a local menace. Some may even come after you. Let them come. It matters not. Theirs are but words, empty and without sting, like a buzz of a bumblebee. Let them come. You're with us now. We'll handle this together. Griffith is right. You may be in some danger. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll handle this together. Just so. Just so. There is strength in unity. The duckling is wise to acknowledge that. For now, let us continue our journey, yes? Griff, anything else to say, bud? Oops. Ready to march at your command, young master. Sigs. So many sheep and cattle and pigs. Ancestors, I really, really hope none of those are my totem animals. I mean, sheep, cattle, and pigs. Uh, ancestors, I really, really hope none of those are my totem animals. All right, fair enough. There doesn't seem to be anything else that we can do, so I think we're gonna break off the episode here. In the next episode, we will—I'll well, save between this episode and the next. We will head back to the world, and we will go on our uh, adventure as we go thing the text by choose your own adventure whatever it's called we'll see how that all works out and i think it's going to be quite fun i hope you guys enjoyed this episode again the game will be releasing eventually i totally forgot the date i think it's the 27th of april and i am looking forward to it a lot i'll be doing about two episodes a week up until that point and then we'll probably be a decent chunk into the game and Hopefully we'll know what we're doing and we'll be able to just hammer it out and enjoy the rest of the game without any such constraints. All right, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>